Okay, Temple OS, 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode 27, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. And today, we are in Model Gen. Okay, so, what we're looking at is, uh, this generates uh, sprite models. Let's say you want to do a ball that's uh, 10, 10 pixels radius. And it has, uh, let's say, about six, six faces, and uh, anyway, eight, and we want it blue. Let's do another one. Let's say uh, twenty, and uh, sixteen, eighteen, and green. Okay, so um, one thing Model Gen done is, does is balls. And the other thing uh, is uh, men, and that's what we're looking at. This will make a man. Um, we enter the dimensions of his arms and legs and head, and then we enter uh, the angles of his joints, and then we enter the color of his uh, skin and shoes. So we, okay, so this is what we're looking at. So what is this? This is a sprite. <clears throat> so what is, a sprite is made up of, uh, this is a, it's a sprite with uh, a mesh element. And if we edit the mesh, or let's go in, let's look at the text. Edit as text, edit as text. So a mesh consists of vertices and then it consists of triangles and the triangles specify three vertices and a color okay so that's what we're doing so uh, this makes a man a man sprite this is add box so the, the men are made up of uh, boxes. There's a box for the arm, box for the leg, and the boxes are made up of triangles. There's two, for each, uh, for each rectangle, there's two triangles. You'll notice here, we do 1A, 2A, 1B, 2B, 1B, 2A, Anyway, so first of all, we make vertices. Now, uh, uh, what is my data structure here? I'm not, I don't remember. Uh, add triangle. MD is a man defined structure. Okay. C. What is C? C was passed in. Color, that's color. And, uh, so when we make a box, we define. When we make a box, we define. We have a man structure. We have color. The one vertex x y z with height depth. Height two, height three. Uh, I'm not sure I remember what that is. Anyway, so um, the man defined structure must have uh, links for. Let's go to the top. Here's a man defined structure has this. <clears throat> so a man defined structure has all the uh I don't see any links. Uh normally I dynamically allocate everything. Uh oh, it looks like I put it into an array. Uh triangles. Um I'm uh, surely I pass in the man structure. There's a man defined structure. Is the man structure a global variable? Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. This is a little sh tiny module with, uh, so global variables are okay. All this module does is one thing, and that's make a man. Um, no, actually, this, well. I put making a ball and making a man together. 
Anyway, so let's look at what this add triangle does. So add triangle accesses the global variable and uh, increments the triangle count. Then it fills fills in the array with the points in the color. So uh, when we're all done making all those triangles, we make the sprite. And to make the sprite, man to sprite, okay. We have to allocate uh, vertices. We have to allocate for the triangles. <coughs> and then looks like we just copy uh, from the temporary array. Now, we're lucky because a man is a fixed number of triangles and we never exceed uh, 1024. So this is just kind of a simple uh, Um, maybe I should add more more uh, models, maybe a car, an airplane, I don't know. Uh, so um, it's pretty tedious. There is a, uh, in the control R menu, um, you can make a mesh directly um, by making vertices and then making triangles. Let's do the color, color red, make triangle, you have to, so there is an editor for making uh, meshes, anyway, uh, but making a man is a little bit tedious, that editor is, is kind of, maybe I should put the models in the editor as an option. Anyway, uh, as it stands, the models are free. It's, it's a separate module, the, the model generator for man or ball. Anyway, so this, how about that? <laughs>